Hello, Aries. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning the freak in. Aries, 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 Aries. Doom, 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 doom. Aries, 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 Aries. I hope you guys are doing good, my Aries. Um, you guys are probably like, what the freak is going on here? Yes, there, this is a, um, a bonus reading for you guys, my loves. You know, you guys are always rocking with me, always going hard. So, of course, you know, got to bless you guys with another reading, right? So, let's see what the freak is going on, Aries. What kind of lunatic is coming towards you in this love thing? Please keep in mind the situation here could be vice versa or interchangeable. Um, it could be reversed. If you're dealing with an Aries, then the Aries may have done this to you. I'm not sure who's doing what, boo boo. Uh -huh. Just understand that um, you just, just take what resonates, leave the rest. Pop a Molly, pop a Perk, take a Xanax, you know, just relax. Just relax. And just um, go with the flow here, okay? So, let's see, Aries in love i haven't used these in a minute i know you're like oh shit you freaking throwing throwing bring it bringing them back huh all right so you got emotional freedom coming out already i didn't even ask what is coming towards aries in love aries in love aries okay so guys <laughs> you have emotional freedom and resolving conflict aries okay so um i definitely feel like somebody may have been emotionally very cold and unavailable in the situation aries and um maybe even very guarded okay um some of you this person may have hurt you because they were hurt but either way there there may have been some kind of argument or issues between you and this person aries so you guys will resolve conflict if you believe in it if you don't it's okay aries but you know the person that you're dealing with can definitely be your soulmate with a soulmate card showing up here all right aries 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 there's forgiving and learning is what i'm hearing forgiving and learning giving your relationship <gasps> i just say that <laughs> giving your relationship a chance showing up at the bottom of the deck all right aries what is coming towards aries in love spirit what do you have for aries in love aries 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 gemini pulled this as well so you have let your friends help you yeah your friends may need to help you with this lunatic aries what is coming towards aries in love what do you have for aries aries you have engagement. Engagement. It's like some lint flying by my face and shit. All right. So um, bottom of the deck is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, Aries. All right. Some of you are connected to another fire sign. Or a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Aries. 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 Or you could be dealing with a Virgo. Nine of Pentacles just keeps showing his ass this week for you guys. So strong earth sign here. <laughs> Maybe a Gemini. So Aries. <laughs> Ooh, who the freak you guys cut off like that? But um, you really... um, You really put somebody in a timeout aries okay that's what i'm feeling um could be an aquarius a libra or a gemini but whoever the hell this person is i feel like although you love them you just kind of feel like you had no choice but to abandon the situation here maybe you felt like you guys were not really progressing you guys weren't really um it's almost like you kind of felt like shit was just staying in the same place it wasn't improving or something like that Six of Swords in reverse is what I'm seeing here. Aries can definitely indicate this is somebody who may have yet to leave a situation or maybe they, they still have emotional baggage that they need to let go of. And I don't think it's you really going to deal with the shit. You're not really... All right, so let's see. Aries in love. Aries. What is coming towards Aries in love? Aries. Aries. Okay. Seven of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are blocked off with this person because they're in a relationship or this person is married there could be children involved here maybe this is your child father or your child's mother but i feel like you're not very keen to hear from this person 
some of you, this person wants to fight for their family back. If you have a family with them, they want to fight for this family back. They don't want to lose their family. Okay, you got the King of Pentacles. Pentacles. So we have Taurus again. What the hell is that? You have Taurus here. You have the Fool. What's coming towards Aries and love? Tell me more for Aries. 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 Um. <clears throat> damn, there's a lot of people here, Aries. I feel like one of these people, you feel like they're not it for you with the Ten of Cups reverse. One of them, you feel like it, it ain't it. Okay. Um. I have Virgo. I have fire again. I feel like somebody's not really happy in their current situation. So this person, when I'm hearing Aries, for some of you, this person may have left to go be with someone um, and they're realizing that it, it ain't it. It ain't it. And now here they are wanting you back badly. I don't know, Aries. I don't know what the hell is going on. What's coming towards Aries and love? Aries. 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 Page of Cups. Some of you, I feel like this person, um, something about family influences. Maybe this person was kind of influenced by their family or some shit like that. Like their family could be telling them, hey, you need to, you need to talk to Aries. You need to go do this, giving them advice or some shit like that. What is coming towards Aries and love? Tell me more for Aries and love. The Three of Cups and the Temperance card. Pi um, Pisces. Could be doing with Pisces. But um, Sagittarius. Sagittarius is what I'm seeing here. So bottom line, there's two people here. I feel like there's one person that you could be dating currently, um, Aries, or getting to know, or something like that. This could be a completely new person with the Page of Cups. Okay, some of you are healing from a Taurus or some kind of um, Virgo or somebody that maybe puts you in a third party or some crap like that, Aries, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. You know what? I feel like Aries is maybe somebody who was, they were afraid to commit. Maybe before they didn't want a relationship, but I feel like now they want it. I feel like for some of you, it may just be a cause of their mindset. They may feel, they may be the type to think that happily ever after or true love doesn't exist for some of you. Um, and that could be why they kind of just didn't want to be in a relationship. And I think that's what you wanted for some of you. Or somebody wanted a relationship. Maybe you guys were friends with benefits or just friends or some crap like that. But there's two people here. King of Pentacles, King of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Wands for Aries, please. Seven of Wands for Aries. Seven of Wands for Aries in love. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Page. Okay, so some of you, you're you're not really too happy with whoever the hell this person is because you feel like they're immature. One of these people, you feel like they're very immature and they need to grow the freak up. That's how you feel. Page of Cups, Five of Pentacles. So it looks like this person wants to... um come out of the cold with you or some crap like that <laughs> some shit like that so now this person wants may want to make you an offer now they want to but i feel like aries one of these people you just really don't want anymore you're like i'm too late <laughs> i ain't too late <laughs> too late tell me about the ten of pentacles for aries and love too late ten of pentacles Page of Wands, the Lovers Reverse, and the Eight of Swords in Reverse. So that's what I'm trying to say. Some of you may tell, um, some of you they may tell you that they want to get out of, they will get out of their relationship or leave someone for you or some crap like that. Don't leave them for me, child. You can stay where the hell you at. Two of Wands is in the Reverse. Some of you may, may um, this is someone that you were in a relationship with and you got out of it. You broke up with this person or they broke up with you. They may have went to someone else or maybe they wanted to just kind of have fun and just explore whatever the hell they wanted to explore. Who or what is this King of Pentacles for Aries spirit? Who or what is this King of Pentacles? Who or what is this? Ooh. Oh, shit. So this is who you don't want to hear from, Aries. <laughs> you may, it, they don't have to be a Taurus, but you don't want to hear from this person, this King of Pentacles. You're upset with them, Knight of Swords. 
Maybe you feel like this person wasn't very consistent with you, and so you're good on that. You feel like they need to grow the freak up. Nine of Pentacles in reverse can indicate that this person may not be single or something, or you know they're involved, or some crap like that, and you're just good. You're not, you're not trying to be in the third party. The Fool for Aries in Love. So some of you took a, a new leap of faith here, or you will, and you'll start dating someone new. The Fool. Tell me about The Fool. And this person could be another fire sign. Could be. Doesn't have to be. So this person didn't want you to move on, Aries. <laughs> Look at that shit. They didn't want you to move on. Some of them, they were still dealing with their ex or some crap. So it's like, you think you could do all this shit and then just come back to me and it's all good. That's kind of what I'm hearing. Like, nah, you good. You good. This person, I feel like they're going to fight and try to ha try to make sure that you don't move on or something like that because they don't want that. They're trying to avoid that. Who or what is this King of Wands for Aries in love? Or what is this King of Wands for Aries in love? Okay. Okay, so this King of Wands could be you. You got your eye on someone else. Okay, maybe maybe another Aries. But this King of Wands wants to date you, Aries. I think they know that you just start you stop dealing with someone who is crazy or controlling i feel like um one of these people really wanted to have their cake and to eat it too like they really played a lot of immature silly games they, they didn't they did a lot of silly things okay and i don't think you're really too keen to revisit that page of cups for aries in love page of cups for aries in love page of cups for aries in love see aries i feel like this page of cups um could definitely be a new person clarifying it is the sun the magician and judgment could be a new person but some of you you feel like this person was was useless in the past or something about them being childish in the past and i don't think you feel like they grew up temperance for aries in love temperance so I'm sorry, but one of these people, I just don't think that you want them. Yeah, some of you, they want forgiveness. This Taurus, um, maybe they were non-committal. It's either they were non-committal in the past and they want it now. Or they were playing games. They were fucking with their ex. They got you involved in third parties. They left you for someone else. They played a lot of stupid, silly games. Okay. Um, and now they want forgiveness. They want another chance. They want to be with you again and have their family back. But I don't, I don't think that's what you want, Aries. I don't think that's what you want. I think you're, you're going to date someone new. Tell me about this Three of Cups. And this new person could definitely be your soulmate, Three of Cups. They don't have to be a new person, but Three of Cups is my date card. Yeah, so you see? Told ya. Um, Aries, some of you are, are getting to know somebody new. You have, could be an Aquarius, but you have the star here, the page of pentacles and the 10 of cups. So I think this new person could be a Scorpio as well. I think you're going to give this new person a chance because this ex, I think they, they, they want in and they want to be with you again, but the motherfucker ain't grown up. They may even still have a fear of commitment. I don't, I don't think that they've really changed that. They may still have a fear of commitment. That's what I feel. So, um, yeah, I think that uh, you should definitely give this new person a chance, Aries. Because a past person looks like they still need their diaper changed. They look like they're still immature. Some of them may, may, they may make decent money or some shit like that, but there's nothing that could replace, you know, emotional maturity or just maturity in general. So I think this person fucked up. They fucked up and I don't think you give a damn. And I think that's why I let your friends help you came out because some of you, like, you may need to talk to your friends about this. Like, okay, you have a new person and you got this ex who's trying to get back into your life or force their way into your life again. So I don't know, Aries. Motherfucker look real forceful. All right, let's see. Is there anything else we need to know about this love situation for Aries? Anything else for Aries in love? Anything else? 
for Aries in love. Yeah. Um, yeah, some of you, this person had you in a third party, Aries. Or they will if you give them another chance. This person's a damn fool. I do see Gemini in the Wheel of Fortune. But I think, Aries, you're going to really be meeting your twin flame or you're going to be meeting um, somebody who you who you will really share a very strong connection with, somebody who is really the one. So even though you're feeling a little disappointed by about this person who fucked you over and who was playing a whole lot of games, um, I think if you take a new leap of faith here and you give this person a chance, this new person, I think that it could be something good, Aries. I think it can. Mm-hmm. But somebody needs to turn around and stop looking at the Five of Cups, okay? Stop looking at their past. So anyway, let's get into some work and career, Aries, for you. Let's see what the freak is popping off. Some of you have a major decision to make with that with that lover's... Um, I'm still talking about love, by the way. All right. So let's see, angels. What does work and career hold for Aries and love? What does work and career hold for Aries in love? Does that make sense, guys? I'm so used to doing love. I'm so... Okay. That made no fucking sense. What does work and career hold for Aries, spirit? <laughs> what does work and career hold for Aries, please? What does work and career hold? Okay. I feel like some of you are feel like you're waiting on something that's never going to come in your current um, position or your current career or whatever. You feel like you want, some of you want to expand, okay? Some of, some of you, you want to maybe move up in the company or you want to expand, but you feel like you can't. You feel like you're limited when it comes to this job or this career. Some of you may be thinking about... Um, taking something um, abroad or traveling abroad or something, but you feel as though that may not happen. Some of you could be because of like restrictions and like the whole COVID shit, that could be what, what's going on here. What does work and career hold for Aries? 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 Some of you, I'm hearing you need to expand your horizons. Maybe look for a job in another country or state or something like that if you want the opportunity that you really want. What does work and career hold for Aries? What does work and career hold for Aries? Yeah, some of you, um, there could be, maybe some of you may feel very stuck in a, in, a, in your current situation because a chariot is in a reverse and a wheel of fortune is in a reverse. I'm hearing someone may, also, may have also gotten into some kind of accident, maybe on the job or something, and... Um, so if that's the case, I kind of see you feeling as though like you're down on your luck or something. Some of you are just kind of feeling, I don't know, the best word I could describe it is stuck. You're feeling stuck. You feel like your career is not going your way or what you want is not going your way. Work and career for Aries. 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 So I see some of you, you know what, Aries, don't do that. Some of you are feeling um, you're taking it personally. Maybe there was a position or a job you wanted and they chose someone else or, you know, something like that. But you're you're taking it personally and you're feeling a lack of esteem. You're, you're feeling a lack of confidence in yourself. You don't feel good enough at this point. Maybe there's something you really want to go for, but maybe you're stopping yourself. You're limiting yourself with the low confidence. Something is kind of overtaking you or... Work and career for Aries, please. Work and career for Aries. Work and career for Aries. The Four of Pentacles and the reverse. Work and career for Aries. Anything else? Work and career for Aries. Anything else? Um, but I feel like Aries, working career for Aries. Why do I feel like there's something that you really want to do that you're kind of limiting yourself, Aries? You're limiting yourself, four of cups. You're keeping yourself stuck. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. It could be because you just don't believe in yourself with the strength in the reverse. Or something's just making you feel like you're not, um... Like you're not on, on your A game right now or something like that. 
but the king of wands tells me that you have what it takes obviously um for this position for this career or for whatever you really want to do whether if it's business Okay, you have what it takes. And I see you looking around, maybe even looking for jobs for some of you. Um, there's something that you're looking at and that you really want, but you're you're not feeling too good about it, too confident about yourself. And I think that's what's keeping you stuck. I think that's what's keeping you stuck. Some of you, it's something out of your control that you can't handle. That it's not really your fault, especially if you got injured on your job or something like that. It's, nothing, it's not something that you can really um, control chariot in the reverse please yeah i feel like um there's something you're not seeing the truth about i feel like maybe you're in denial about um what is keeping you stuck okay what's actually keeping you stuck and i think it's like a mindset at this point or it's something mental that's going on that's making you feel as though you won't get what you want or you can't move up or you can't do whatever but Spirit is saying that um, you can, King of Wands. Obviously, you have it in you. You have the passion. You have the desire. But there's something that's causing you to feel low in confidence or... <sighs> that's what I feel. Ace of Wands, but I do see that um, if you're looking for an opportunity, it will come. I do see you getting your mojo back. Some of you may just be feeling physically drained. Maybe you're taking on a lot right now and you just kind of just, you're just in this energy of needing a break, okay? You're needing some type of time off. Some of you, it's like a physical, something of a physical that's going on with you, okay? So that is what I'm seeing for you, Aries, but I do see you getting your mojo back and I see you um, overcoming this with the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Aries. Um, whoever the hell this person is in the love section, you need to, um, some of you need to rest, by the way. Get some rest, drink more water, and just chill out, okay? Because you're taking on a lot, and it's burning you out, okay? Some of you may need to just admit that you need help. Maybe you need some help, you know? Um, and you'll be okay. I feel like there's something that's temporary that's keeping you stuck right now. Like you were doing just fine, but something kind of fucked you up or made you feel as though, wow, like, I don't know where the hell I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where, you know. But all you need to do is just tell yourself the right things again. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So whoever the hell this person is from the love portion, you got two people here, Aries. Choose wisely, okay? Love you all. See you guys next time.